students welcome back to Arc tutorials this is javascript top 100 coding interview questions and answer series this is part 43 of the series and in today's episode the question is how to replace a given string in a given array right so basically the input to you will be an array of, which is of course of strings and you will be given a particular string you need to match and replace in that particular array okay not tricky may sound tricky okay it may sound tricky but it's actually not once we start coding before we start coding i'll request you to get the ebook of all these uh, javascript co coding questions and answers and it will help you improve your coding logic as well as help you become better developer you can get the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com if you have any difficulty write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com thank you let's get started all right, so the question is simple. How to replace a given string in a given array, right? So we'll basically use map method, right? So it's an array. The input given to us is an array. We will use map method. It would go each uh, loop in the iteration for the each uh, element in the array. And it will check for the occurrences of the string. And then we'll use the replace method of the string to replace that particular value, okay? So may sound tricky for to some, but it's actually not it's very simple let me show you by starting coding uh, we'll throw in a script right so what's our input here um, input is uh, array right so I'm going to define that array and we are going to take some matching uh, strings okay so that we can do all that operations that we want to do okay so I'm going to use um, say pan Bangalore right um, think of um, okay um, yeah no, rest, right so enough words for, with starting with B and right so that's one uh, so now let's say our input string right our input uh, string that we need to replace is say B A N okay so this is our input uh, string that we have got which we need to replace and this is our actual array now we'll I said we need to write a map method right so let's write that dot we'll use the map array map method and what it does we need to implement a simple function right callback I can write a method or a function doesn't matter whichever way you prefer okay now in this we are just going to return what are we going to return we are going to check because this is a value what we have got the element actual element I'm saying X dot replace now what are we going to replace with whatever value we are trying to match correct and then such global like it's more of a regular expression right and then empty it okay so this what it does is here if we are passing the value which is our input string right that we need to replace and we are saying gee this is more of a uh, kind of a regular expression that we are putting and then we are saying if not empty okay and that should be it let's see the output Let that work okay so see it replaced b a n right so basically you are telling here replace with what just saying that replace wherever you have this matching replace it with the empty right or let's say if I say um big. okay replace ban with bang at least bengalur <laughs> okay so ben bend benares right so that's how basically you do replace like you either if you don't want to do anything you just leave it empty or you pass a value and say whatever you want to replace it with so replace method is the one that it takes two values um, if you see here it takes a value the string to match and the replace value and a map is nothing but an array method where it will take it will have a callback it will loop for each of the array and give you back the array modified array basically okay that's how uh, you go about solving this particular question which is how do you replace a string in a given array right if it matches it will replace if it doesn't match it will give you back the actual value so for that to show that use case I'm just going to put red and just so see here red did not get bothered because there is no matching 
wherever it will match it will update and give you back the entire array back as part of the map since all the elements are getting modified whichever like. all right so i hope this question is clear to you uh, do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts or queries thank you so much for joining in this episode don't forget to get your ebook that will help you cover all these questions that i'm covering as part of the video explanation you can get the book at rtutorials.gumroad.com or you can write to me at surya.arath at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.